Hello everyone. Seems like the live started. Still trying to figure out the YouTube world. Um, hello everyone. Uh, welcome to this yoga class with me again. If you're new to uh, my classes and my channel, my name is Alicia. I teach yoga currently from my flat in Madrid, as you can see here. Uh, so you get home um, because as probably uh, many of you, I'm in lockdown since about, I don't know, I lost count. I think it's been a month and something, a few weeks. Um, but yeah, uh, here we are. I'm going to check with the audio just because today I'm using something slightly different. Um, so if you, obviously I cannot hear you, <laughs> but uh, if you can just give me a sign on the live chat, just, I don't know, thumb up if the audio is okay. Come down if you cannot really hear me. That would be fantastic. We're gonna wait just a couple of minutes before starting. And uh, yeah, so um, as I was saying, like I'm in lockdown, and one of the positive things of this lockdown is that I went back to my uh, yoga teaching, um, and uh, that's been fantastic. And I felt a little bit overwhelmed by how many people, like friends, uh, even my mom, family members, they just got curious with yoga and asked me to give classes. So um, I'm really, really happy to that you all are here and I hope you're gonna enjoy this class. Um, usually these classes, I mean, during my you know normal classes, I love to um, adjust people. So, you know, just, um, come close, check, and make sure that um, you all are in, let's say, in a safe practice. Um, thank you for the thumbs up. <laughs> uh, since I cannot do that virtually, um, one thing that I would really like you to um, remember is that this is your practice. Um, so in this class, there will probably be people from different, that are at different stages in their uh, yoga um, yoga path. Um, some of you might uh, have like part of the body that are more sensitive, um, they are like more tight and that's totally fine. But just remember to be gentle with yourself. Um, so take this class as an opportunity to sort of explore your body, uh, get in touch with your inner self, um, take it as an exploration and remember that we all are different. Our bodies are all unique. Um, my down dog won't look like yours and that's fine. That's how it's supposed to be. Um, saying that, this class will be about an hour. I will try to finish at seven, as promised. Um, at the end, one other thing that I like in my classes is that at the end, I always stay a bit longer in case people have questions out um, so they can talk to me. Again, not possible now because of the lockdown, but feel free to use the comments um, area ask me a question, um, if they're yoga related and you're happy like for other people to read it, just write in there. Uh, I will answer, I will stay connected a little bit longer. If not, most of you have my contact. So Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, whatever, just text me and ask whatever you, uh, you want to ask. I'm forgetting something. Two more things and then I stop talking and I start guiding you. One, due to um, YouTube license with music, copyright, etc., I'm not gonna play music but I added in the description of this video somewhere here below uh, a playlist that I created and I think it's quite suitable for this class. So you have time now to start playing it if you'd like to have some nice, chill background music. And finally, a lot of people ask me, how can we pay you back? I'm not gonna go too long into details, um, but just let me tell you that with this lockdown, I just realize how extremely lucky I am. Um, I have a full-time job on top of my yoga teaching. I have good health. Um, I, like my, all my family is fine. You know, I just feel extremely grateful. And I decided that for, um, during this time of quarantine, of lockdown, um, I will, these classes will be free. Um, but um, it is true that there are a lot of people who are now suffering um, because of this coronavirus. So if you can, and if you would like to pay back, uh, I think the best way to do it is to just make a donation for people who actually are in need uh, and people who are actually helping to sort of like solve this situation. So in the video description, there is a link to the Spanish Red Cross. 
um, we supporting the Spanish community during this tough time. I will be extremely um, happy uh, and really appreciate if you can just make a little donation to the Spanish Red Cross and, you know, we just make our little impact in this time where kind of most of the time we feel, I mean, at least I feel uh, powerless. I talk enough. We are ready, I think, to go. So let's start this yoga class. Now we're gonna start from a seated position. So for those of you who are new to my classes, it's uh, gonna be really handy if you have um, pillow or a block will be ideal, but pillow will make it work. Um, a thick blanket, just anything that you can uh, use to sit on, this will help to maintain a good posture. I'm gonna align my skin so you can just see the mat and now my handle. And here we go. And we're gonna start. So today I'm actually, I have to remember that I have a block, so I'm gonna use this. And let's start from a seated position. Sit comfortably. Again, if you have something to sit on, pillow. And what you want is to create a, an alignment with, uh, in your spine. So you want a long spine. You feel this alignment from your sit and to the top of your head. We're gonna start closing our eyes. Just let the palms of the hands fall gently on your knees, on your thighs, wherever feels comfortable in your body. Try to place the palms so that they can face up towards the sky, sort of like a open gesture. Close your eyes here. Take any movement, make any final adjustment until you find complete stillness. So try to keep a long spine. Relax your shoulders down. Gently lift your chin so that our neck is long. And we're gonna take a few moments at the beginning of this practice just to arrive on the mat. Start bringing your attention towards the parts of your body that are connected to the ground. Feel that connection. And then Focus on your breath. Try to inhale through your nose and exhale through your nose. And redirect the breath towards those area connecting to the ground. So feel this grounding sensation. Feel the weight of your body. Landing on the mat, landing on this present place. Focus on your breath. And try to not force it, so just observe each inhalation, each exhalation. Observe how the body moves. Every time you inhale, how your chest expand. And at each exhalation, just let go of any tension, let go of any toads not related to the present moment. We're gonna use this breath to create a connection between our minds and our body to create the rhythm of our practice. 
We use the breath every time a thought comes in our mind. And there will be many, I promise, during this practice. You'll start thinking about something else. You'll start just wandering around your monkey mind, as we say, um, will just play its role. Just observe those thoughts as clouds in the skies. And then go back to your breath. Use your breath as an anchor to bring you back to the here and now. Take a deep inhalation through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. Inhale through your nose. Exhale, side it out. One last time. Inhale through your nose. Exhale, let it go. I'm going to place our right hand on the our center, left hand on our belly. And you can use this moment to set an intention for this practice. A mantra, something can be a word, can be something like, I don't know, gratitude uh, or kindness or calm. You know, one word that reminds you that intention can be a person you would like to dedicate this practice to. Anything that pops in your mind right now, just think about that. And we're going to go back into that intention, to that intention, to that thought during the practice. Now release your hands, open your eyes. We are going to start just working a little bit. The class today um, will be will be vinyasa flow. Uh, in the past days, I did a lot of yin and yang. Uh, today is going to be a little bit dynamic. I feel like I've been home so much, I need to move more. So... <laughs> A little bit stronger. Uh, and we start moving our spine. So bring movement to the spine, to the shoulders. So place the hands on the knees. Think about pulling your knees and open your heart, open your chest, look up. And slowly exhale, reverse the movement, curve your spine, chin to chest, bring your belly in. Inhale, open your chest, look up. Exhale, curve your spine, release the neck down, release the shoulders. One more time, inhale. Exhale. And back to center. I'm going to bring our right hand either on the knee or on the thigh, or on the, um, yeah, on the, thigh, on the left leg, wherever you feel comfortable. Left hand on the mat behind you. Inhale, lengthen your spine, exhale. Just take a gentle twist here. Look above your left shoulder and breathe in the twist. So every time we inhale, we'll lift. You can use the left hand to push you up a little bit and exhale. Twist a little bit deeper. Try to keep the right glute, glute, glute on the mat. Exhale, back to center. We move on the other side, left hand on the right, on top of the right leg, right hand on the back, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. Look above your right shoulder. Try to relax the left shoulder down. Breathe in the twist. Feel the sensation in your body. Bring your awareness towards how you feel. Without judging, just observing. Exhale, back to center. We're gonna release the blob, the pillow, the blanket if you have one. And we're gonna go into a child pose. That's going to be the first uh, asana of this practice. And we start from child pose with the legs together. So bring the knees together. 
and start sitting uh, on your heel and then start walking your hands far, far, far in front of you. So long arms here. Try to keep the glutes attached to the heels. If you feel it's not possible for you, that's fine. You can use a pillow and put it in between the heels and the glutes. Just release your forehead on the ground. Release the hand, release the arms. And we take a few seconds in child pose to connect, if we are familiar with it, uh, with our UJE breath or ocean sound breath. For those who are not familiar, first of all, close your mouth and think about like inhaling and exhaling through your nose. And we want to create a very gentle constriction on the back of our throat every time we inhale and every time we exhale. For me, the easiest way to visualize it is think about inhaling to a very skinny stroke and exhaling through that same skinny stroke. And that will produce a notion sound that characterizes this uh, pranayama technique. So connect to the breath. Try to equalize each inhalation and each exhalation. Feel your body expand. And on the next inhalation, we're gonna move our hands towards the right. We're gonna take a stretch on the left side of our body. You can keep the hands apart or you can place the left hand on top of the right so that you increase the stretch. You can even place the head, sort of like look under your left arm, look up. Make sure your left glutes stay down. So don't lift here, just you want to feel the stretch from the, basically the almost the glute up all the way till the left shoulder. Exhale, back to center. You're gonna go on the opposite side. So again, you can keep the hands far from each other or place the right hand on top of the left and then look under your right arm. The right glute is ticked on the right heel. So push down with the right glute. Feel the stretch on the right side of your body. Back to center, we're gonna start moving a little bit. So bring some movement in this practice. I did promise a dynamic flow. So from here, start lifting your hips. Keep your spine curved. Maybe walk your hands a little bit further away. And let your hips fall, legs strong together. We're gonna find the cobra here. Look up, exhale. Go back to child pose and keep moving at the rhythm of your breath. So every time we inhale, we sort of unroll and rail our body. We go into a cobra, bend the elbows lightly. Exhale, child pose. One last time, inhale, move to cobra. Relax your shoulders, exhale. Child pose. And from child pose, we move to all fours. So make sure your um, wrists are under your shoulders, spread your fingers, engage your um, fingertips. So think about uh, your hands want to grab the mat. Knees are below your hips. Try to create a 90 degrees angle. And we're gonna start just leaning forward and back. So this is a, we're gonna do a few movements, a few, um, sort of like a, exercise to just warm up the wrists. So start engaging your hands. Feel the sensation on the wrist. And back to center, now open the hands. So 
just rotate laterally the hand. And same principle, we just move towards the left, towards the right. Make sure to activate the finger. Sort of a, think about creating arches and domes with your hands. Back to center. Now rotate the hands so that your fingers point towards your knees. And from here, start leaning gently backwards and forward. Try to keep the palm on the mat. So do not lift the palm. Feel the stretch on the base of your wrists, on the forearms. Try to relax the neck to so avoid creating tension on the cervical. Again, move with your breath. And once you're in the center, you're going to turn the palms. You're going to go on, our, on the top of the hands. So just turn the hand down. And slowly, you can stay here because it can be pretty intense. Or you can just see how far you can go here. Again, remember to be gentle with yourself, with your body. Just start maybe bringing your hips, uh, your glutes towards your heels. Avoid lifting the hand. So really push the top of the hand on the mat. And then release and sit on our heels. Take just a few wrist roll, just to reset here. We're gonna go back to all fours. We're bringing movement again in the spine. So we do the same movement that we did at the beginning with our um, with our spine, but in the O4s position. So cat and cow, inhale, just let the belly drop. Start opening your chest, look slightly up, push with your hands to match so that your arm are engaged. Exhale, reverse the movement, curve the spine, chin to chest, release the neck. And again, inhale, open the chest, look up, Exhale, curve the spine, push the floor away, activate your hands. Keep moving. I invite you to close the eyes here and to really feel the movement. Think about starting the movement from the tailbone. It's like a sort of a wave that go from the tailbone all the way through your spine till the crown of your head. And here, with your eyes closed, feel free to bring any movement to this cat and cow. You can say like in the standard cat and cow, maybe you want to go a bit deeper, Just, you want to move your hips. Listen to your body. Beauty, one of the beautiful things of being at home and doing yoga is that we feel we don't have anyone around us watching us. It's a bit easier, you know, to just let ourselves go. Listen to the body, play with it, play with what your body asks for. Enjoy each movement. And back to center. Find your fourth. And from here, then I inhale, lift the right arm up. Try to keep your hips stable. So don't move the hips. Just lift the right arm so that we create a twist in our torso. Look up. Exhale, bring your right arm under your left. Place your head on the mat. Inhale, lift the right arm up. Look up. Exhale, thread the needle with the right arm. And again, inhale, exhale. And this time we're gonna stay here a bit longer. So just release the right arm on the mat. Let the head comfortably sit on the, on the mat and you can leave the left hand on the side of your face or you can walk the left hand on the top. If you want to go a little bit deeper into the stretch, you might want to find the bind. So bring your left hand on top of your right thigh. 
And we're gonna breathe here. Feel free to close your eyes. Reconnect with your breath if you love the connection. And exhale, bring the left hand back, inhale, lift your right arm up and down. Now we move towards the left side. So inhale, lift your left hand up. Exhale, left arm under the right one. Inhale, twist, look up. Exhale, thread the needle. And one last time, inhale up, exhale, down. And we stay here, so release your head, release your left arm. You can bring your right arm, your right hand at the top of the mat, above your head all the way. And then you place the right hand on your left thigh. Breathe here. Listen to the sound of your breath. Slowly, we are going back to all fours. And from all fours, we're gonna walk, we keep the legs where they are. We're just gonna walk our hands further. And we try to bring our chest towards the mat. So try, this is an open, uh, shoulder open pose. You can keep your forehead on the mat or maybe your chin on the mat. And observe how your shoulder blade expand. You, you're creating space on your shoulders and your back. Keep Inhaling through your nose, exhaling through your nose. And slowly walk your hands back. Again, we are in all fours. Attack our toes under. And we're going to start lifting our hips. So think about, you know, the pose I'm going towards. So it's going to be a downward facing dog. Uh, think about bringing, let me this. Um, think about bringing your hips all the way up, keeping your hands engaged. Relax your shoulders, spine length in your spine. So you can uh, bend your knees, bring your knees closer to your chest, and then try to lengthen the knees. So you want the heels to push towards the mat, even if they don't catch, you want the legs engaged. Release your neck. Connect with the breath here, one deep inhalation through your nose. Exhale, side it out. Say no with your head, just make sure your neck is neutral. And then from here, we start walking our feet towards the top of the mat. Open your feet, hip distance apart. You can bend your knees as much as you like here. Grab the opposite elbow and just release the upper body. Release the shoulders, shoulders distant from the ears. You can uh, find stillness. Or maybe just move side to side. You want to feel your legs engage even if they're bent. So think about like, like something pulling from your tailbone towards the ceiling. Bring maybe your weight a little bit forward towards your toes. If you want a more active pose um, variation, you can use your fist finger. Grab your big toe, open your elbows on the side, and pull yourself towards, towards the mat. But we want to let really gravity 
makes the, the real job here. Breathe here. And on the next inhalation release, it was the elbows, just shake your hands. We're gonna unroll our body, vertebra by vertebra. You can keep your knees bent, you can stand your legs. You're gonna find a standing position. Take a few shoulder rolls here. So just really, we're gonna go into the more dynamic part of the class. Move your shoulders, and again, you're home, nobody can see you. Just let everything go. Just move as a crazy person. We want the tension to leave our body. So do whatever feels good before we start. And we're gonna start from the top of the mat. My hair is from crazy today. We're gonna bring our feet together, starting from a Tadasana or a mountain pose. Release the arms on your body. Close your eyes for a second. Take a deep inhalation through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. Once again, inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. Open your eyes. Inhale, lift your arms. Look up, palms touch. Exhale, bend your knees, fall forward. Hands on the mat, release your neck. Inhale, half we lift, long spine, hands on your knee or on the floor. Try to keep a long spine here. Exhale, hands on the mat, find your high plank. For those who are a little bit advanced in the practice, from here you can go directly to Chaturanga. So half push up, then you find your up dog, and you go in downward facing dog. For those who are new, if you see high plank, just release your knees down on the mat, then bring your chest and your chin on the mat, keeping the elbows close to your body. Just let it go here, inhale, find cobra, the position we were at the beginning. Exhale, bend your knees and found your downward facing dog. Take three deep breaths here. Remember in down dog, your foundation, your hands, and your feet, hands are strong, spread your fingers, push with your hands, the floor away, keep your spine long, look in between your legs, in between your knees, or even to your belly, just release the neck, bend your knees, it feels more comfortable, and from here, look in between the hands so you can little, make a little walk towards the top of the mat. And also jump there. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fall forward. And the next inhale, we come all the way up. Palms touch, look up. And we're going to go again. Exhale, fall forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Find a long spine. Exhale, find your variation, either chin, um, chaturanga or knees, chest, chin. Inhale, push yourself in. Cobra, elbows in, engage your glutes. Exhale, downward facing dog. Three deep breaths in down dog. We start creating a little bit of heat on our body. Try to slow down your breath. If at any point you want to go to child pose, I didn't say at the beginning, just feel free to do so. That's your rest pose. And again, look in between your hands, walk, step, or jump at the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fall forward. Inhale, come all the way up. Palms touch. Exhale, fall forward again. 
Inhale, as we lift. Exhale, this time we take a step back with the right leg. Important, uh, left knee down over to the knee. So don't, we don't want the knee to uh, go above the uh, ankle. So to protect our knee joint, either 90 degree angle or you can just stay a little bit, bring the knee a little bit uh, back. We stay here, inhale, find a long spine. Exhale, try to extend the front leg. And inhale, bend, open your chest. Exhale, extend the leg. So we're working on hamstring here. We're staying home, we don't walk much, as probably we're used to. Keep bringing movement here, we're stretching our upper leg. And release the right knee on the mat. Right hand on the mat, inhale, lift the left hand up, look up. Twist again, and here, you can stay here, or you can bring your left hand on your right hip, and sort of a bind. Look up or look down, again, listen to the body, see what is what feels good. That's what you want, you don't want to suffer, really. You want to know, get to know your body, and uh, learn to listen to it a bit more often. Lift your left arm up. Now raise your uh, right knee. We're gonna find different variation here of a side plank. So you can see support side plank. So you move on the edge of the right foot, lateral edge, and you can stay here. So with the left um, leg bent in front of you, or you can go no, the keeper, you can bring one foot in front of the other. You can go into full plank, so one foot on top of the other. And from here, just play with your body. Like, do you can grab your foot, you can bring it in front of you, you can bring it up. Just do whatever feels good. Like, there is no right or wrong. Like, it's a way of playing with the body, play with the balance. And then bring the left foot. On top again, release the right knee down. And once again, inhale, open your chest. Exhale, lift the back knee and we fall forward on the left knee. Try to extend the left knee. I'm trying to let go here, tension on the upper body. Inhale, bend the left knee and take a big step with the right foot at the top of the mat. You can bend your knees, release your spine. Keep breathing, connect with your breath. You can just exhale, let go. <laughs> and slowly, we come all the way up, vertebra by vertebra. Uh, and Tadasana again, mountain pose. Inhale, arms up, palms touch, look up. Exhale, fall forward. Hands on the mat, release the neck. Inhale, hand on the shin, find a long spine, ears, shoulders away from the ears. And this time we take a big step with the right foot. Did you enjoy right that? No, sorry. That was one way with the left foot. So we stay here. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, pull forward, lengthen the front leg. Feel the stretch. That's good. Inhale, look up. Bend the knee, open the chest. Exhale again, land in the front knee, fall forward. Inhale, open your heart. Exhale, fall forward. Inhale, release the left knee on the mat, left arm on the mat. 
Inhale, lift your right arm up, look up. You can find your bind once again. Twist. I'll look either above the right shoulder or you can look at your left hand. Don't collapse the left shoulder here. So engage the hand, engage the left arm and push yourself away from the, you can go on your fingertips as well if you want to avoid the collapsing. You see here, another breath. And you lift our right arm, lift your left uh, knee from the floor, and again, you move to side plank. So move to the edge of your left foot. You can stay on your support plank, or find your variation on this side. Make sure your hips are up, unless you want to bring the dynamic, uh, some, you know, movement here. You can just, you know, play on something like that. Again, just have some fun here and do what feels good for your body. And then we're gonna bring our right foot on the top of the mat. And once again, inhale, go on your fingertips, open your chest, look up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, look up. Exhale. Fold forward. Fold here. And release. Take a big step with your left foot at the top of the mat. Once again, we're going to bend our knees. Feet, keep distance apart. You can grab your elbows. Want to let go all the tension on the upper body. This is easy in young pose because young are the legs, so these are strong. Even if they're bent, again, think about something pulling from your tailbone towards the ceiling, so you activate your legs. But our upper body is in full uh, in uh, posture, so it's completely relaxed. And this type of posture are great to increase flexibility, and it's something you can do like. Ideally, you want to see your like two, three minutes. We won't do that today. But this is great. Like doing every day, you will really notice how your body start expanding and, and opening up. If you're grabbing your elbow, release the crowd. Bring your feet together. Just roll them together. Now we're gonna start again. So just unroll our spine. The head is the last part. Our body to go up. Take a few shoulder roll once again. I'm gonna go inhale, bring your arms up, look up. Exhale, fall forward. Inhale, alpha lift. Hands on the mat is the last one I promise. Either chaturanga or knees, chest, chin. Inhale, cobra, look up. Exhale, we push back into child pose. So find your child pose. This time, bring your knees mat distance apart. So we're going to open up a little bit our hips as well. Keep pushing your glutes towards the knees. Release your hands and your arms on the mat. Release your forehead on the mat. Feel your body moving, your belly expanding at each inhalation. And the body becoming heavier at each exhalation. And then slowly we're gonna both our hands back. Now we're gonna find finally a seated position. So from here, gonna bend our right. Make sure that uh, again your spine is long. So if you have the block, if you have a pillow, feel free to uh, bring it and just sit on it. 
One recommendation that I have when you sit uh, in general, that's even if you're sitting on your mat, like just grab, think about grabbing the skin underneath your back. I know this will sound a bit strange. Just grab it and pull it so that you can actually sit on the bones. And that will help to find that alignment from your uh, physical glute and your base till the crown of your head. So once you find this long spine, we're gonna bend our right knee. And uh, from the right foot to the left, think about uh, a fist apart. And then we start folding over the left leg. Think about someone pulling you from the front. Then we place, if you can see, but we place the right arm all around the right leg. And we try to find with the left hand the right one. We start to create a bind like, like this. You can sit here. And once you're here, you start folding. This is mariachi pose. Usually here, your right shoulder tends to be like lower. So try to bring the left shoulder in line with the right one. And release. We don't have to go too far. We can even stay like here. But again, think about that lengthening sensation. I think your spine coming longer. Your leg, left leg is engaged. So push with your left heel. Inhale, release. You're going to hug the right leg with the right arm. Right hand on the back behind us. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, just twist towards the right. You can stay on your fingertips. You can place the palm and even move your hands towards the right if you want to increase the twist. Try to keep the left leg engaged so your left foot is flat. Your abs are engaged as well, slightly. You think about bringing the belly button in. Exhale, back to center. Now, two options. We can grab the right leg with the right arm, place the left um, hand on the mat behind us, and just do a counter twist. So we're here, so the work just to reset. Or, I feel like now I need to turn around again so you can see me better. We place the left arm a little bit further, so out of the mat, towards the left, we bring the foot, slide, the right foot slide, slightly towards the right side of the mat. We push with the left hand up. Think about what we do with the side plank. So lift your hips up. The right uh, leg is bent. The left one is extended. And you bend down into your wild thing pose. Think about pushing from your hips, engage your glutes to protect your lower back. And exhale, back to sitting position. I will change side. This time we bring in the left knee. Again, uh, the left foot is one fist apart from the right side. Bring your arms within. Left knee again, just fall forward as if someone was pulling you. When you're here, then grab your left leg with your left arm, find the bind. So the hand, and like they can touch or not, you can also stay. If the hand don't touch, it's totally fine. Just go where your body arrives, and it's fine. Don't judge, don't think there is like a right or wrong. Just think about, you know, again, lengthening the spine, trying to bring the shoulders in one line. So try to bring the right shoulder slightly forward. And just look down at your knee if, you're, if you feel the extension on your neck, or you can just look at your big toe. That will help to, you know, mentally you will think about lengthening instead of collapsing if you look at the, at the big toe. So a little trick. And release. We're gonna grab the left arm, the left leg with the right arm, place the left 
hand on the back behind us. Inhale, lift, and twist. Again, you can walk your left hand a little bit towards the left if you want to twist more. Exhale, back to center. And either you go on a counter twist, so add your left leg with your uh, left arm and just twist towards the right, or you find your well thing position on this side. So this time the left leg is bent, right leg is extended. And you push your hips up, try to open your chest. And exhale, back sit. Okay, we're going towards the end of the class, so just a few more hazanas to slow down our breath. Put your feet together. Think about finding a diamond shape. So we don't want this. Bring your feet far from your body, as far as you can, trying to keep, as always, a long spine. And just open your elbow on top of your, so you can place your arm on top of your legs, opening the elbow on the side, grab your feet, or even leave the forearm on the mat. Palms facing out, and you just let go completely. Again, you can experiment here. So you can just move your feet a little bit further and feel the difference. You, you will feel it because you're working. If you bring the feet closer to your body, we're going to work on a completely different uh, muscle. The sort of goal, there is not a real goal in yoga, but <laughs> let's say that here what we're trying to do, we're trying to just relax. Again, in yang pose, relax the upper body while working on opening the lower body a little bit. Feel free to curve your spine here. And we'll release the neck down. We tend to tense here and keep like the neck completely, you know, tight and just let it go. Maybe say no with your head. Breathe here. You're going to slow down. Try to take longer exhalation. And then slowly, it's all the way up. Now lay down on the mat. Open your arms on the side, palms facing down. Lift your knee, bend to your knee. With the legs. I'm going to place the right um, leg on top of the left one and let the knee fall, the legs fall towards the right. Try to keep the left shoulders on the mat. So avoid this. This will, if you usually what we want is we really want the leg to touch the floor, but what happens is that we lift the shoulder from the mat. So we don't really work on the stretch, on the full stretch. Try to bring the knee slightly up and work on, on the shoulder. So think about the shoulder not moving and then start bringing those knees down. You should feel a slight difference. You can turn your gaze towards the left. So opposite side, respect your leg. If you feel this is not enough, you can just bring the knees closer to your chest. So slightly up. This should intensify the stretch. Ah, take deep inhalation through the nose. Try to direct the breath in the area where you feel the stretch, where it feels more intense. And with each exhalation, just feel free to sigh it out, out of your mouth, and. Think about releasing the tension with your breath. <sighs> Inhale, back to center. Change the leg. So we put the left leg on top of the right and then we let the knees, the legs fall towards the left. And again, 
start from the shoulder. The right shoulder is on the mat. And then slowly you release the knees wherever they arrive. Even if they if it's here that you're you feel the shoulder start lifting, stay here. And again, if you want to intensify the stretch, you can bring your knees closer to the chest and lift towards the right. Or you can also look towards the ceiling if it feels better in your neck. And back to center. Let's aggro our knees. Bring the knees towards the chest. Give yourself a big hug. Bring your forehead towards the knee. And just for a few seconds, we're gonna squeeze everything. So think about activating and create tension in your body. So starting from your feet, flex your feet, bring the, the legs together, activate your abs, squeeze your arms. You can bring your shoulders towards your ears. Just squeeze every muscle in your face. And then let go. And let go of the legs. Just extend your legs. Open the legs wide, as wide as the mat. Let the feet fall. Let the arms fall on the side. Palms facing up. You can maybe just lift slightly your chest, bring the shoulder blades together, and then release the shoulder down. I also like to take my head, so lift my head with my arms. Think about pulling your head towards, you know, up, above, like, so that you think about extending your neck. That's it, that's it. And then place your head down so that the neck is long. Usually the chin is likely um, look towards the chest, so tuck a little bit. And close your eyes. Welcome to Sabasana, the final relaxation pose of this flow. And start just disconnecting from everything around you. Release any tension that is left in your body. Observe your body. You can scan your body from the top of your toes all the way up to the crown of your head. And while you're scanning your body, think about sort of like a wide energy going through your body. So think about that energy feeling your body. And while it fills your body, part by part, slowly, you just imagine the tension going away. You just visualize your body and each part of it melting on the mat. And in Savasana, here, now, observe the stillness of your body. Observe the stillness, stillness of your mind. And give yourself permission to do nothing. And just let go. You can stay in the Savasana as long as you like. Once again, kind of like the fact that, you know, we're doing more yoga at home because in a way it's our space, it's our environment. Um, usually it's easier to be ourselves fully, to listen to ourselves a little bit more. So if you want to stay in Savasana, this life, I will disconnect uh, from my side. You don't have to worry about it. You don't have to worry about, you know, 
other students in the class or, you know, freeing the space. It's your space. Feel free to stay there. If not, you can slowly start bringing movement back in your body. Start from your fingertips. Just move slowly, fingertips, toes. Just wake up the body again. So inhale, bring your arms up. Give yourself a big stretch. Usually we yawn here. Our body just, you know, feel like, yes, I'm actually feeling good. I'm actually waking up. So if the yawns happen, let it be. And then uh, exhale, just hug your knees into your chest. So give yourself a big final hug. Roll side to side. Final back massage. And let yourself fall on the right side. Use your right arm as a pillow. And at your own pace, in no hurry. Help yourself with the left hand to lift up. We're gonna meet again in a seated position to close our, our practice. Close your eyes. Take this final moment to reconnect with that intention and that mantra that you said at the beginning of the practice. Place your right hand on your center, the left hand on your belly. Feel that intention, feel that mantra. Whatever it is, it's definitely important for you so bring it with you throughout the rest of the day today, tomorrow, the week, and next week. Keep it close. And bring the palms of your hands to touch in front of your center. One last look at our breath. Observe it. It's there all the time, whenever you need it, helps you to calm down. The breath has an incredible power that we usually don't know about, but think about going back to your breath. Every time you need to just be in present, reconnect, find some balance. Who doesn't need it in this crazy time? And by yourself, so bring your Chin towards your chest, your chest and by yourself gratitude for making the time on the mat today for this practice, your practice. And from my side, thank you so much for connecting to this live stream. Um, it's been a pleasure. It is a pleasure for me to guide you in, a, in your yoga travel. Namaste. As I said at the very beginning, um, you're free to leave the live. <laughs> but if you have any question, any uh, doubts, um, anything you would like to ask me, I'm gonna stay connected like just a few minutes. Um, if you want to, you know, again, share it with others. Uh, if not, feel free to get in touch with me. Uh, I think most of you know me, so if not, you can subscribe here. Uh, I'm gonna have, uh, I'm gonna do like a few more classes during the, well, week is finished. I'm gonna have one in Italian on Sunday at 11 a.m. Uh, Madrid time. And I will post on my Facebook and on my Instagram page the schedule for next week. So definitely there's gonna be one or two classes in English. So if you would like to join, you will make me so, so happy. Um, so yeah. Thank you all, and I hope to see you again here. Namaste. Oh, you're so cute. All this emoji. Hola, guapas. <laughs>
seems like there are no questions, so. But a lot of kisses. So kisses back to you all. Thank you all. Again, if you need anything, if you have questions, doubts, feel free to contact me. See you soon.